What is up everyone, in this video I'm going to show you what I've been building the past couple of days. It's like a small little weekend project that has actually turned out into something a little bit more because I got a lot of good feedback from the people uh, that already seen what I've built here. So uh, what is this? It's basically just, uh, I say native app and people are basically uh, pitchforking me on that. It's not web, it's not, uh, it's not Electrum, uh, it's just basically Raylip. Uh, that I'm using to render everything into just an application that boots up on your desktop, right? You could compile it to WebAssembly and run it on the web as well, but this is native 60 FPS and in real time. So what are you looking at? We are looking at the Binance Futures BTC order book and the Binance Futures BTC trades. I have some uh, abilities to draw charts as well, but I removed this because it's a little bit of borking. The goal is actually to uh, render heat maps in real time, which is actually super important if you are doing something with the markets. For the people I don't know, I have a lot of experience from my past in these systems and I thought, man, it would be nice uh, to make something that actually uh, is a very performant and that doesn't require you to share everything on a web. Uh, or to make a subscription or to share your keys or whatever that everything stays local so we're going to add a uh, sql light database on top of this as well so everything runs on your system and the only thing you have is pool data from these exchanges so like i said it's um the front end is basically the gi is basically built with raylip right uh, raylip go actually ray gi which is whatever, right, Raylip, Ray basically. And um, the backend, well, it's just one app, of course, but the, 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 the system that pulls all the data is uh, built with Hollywood actors, right? Hollywood, act, Hollywood framework is a uh, lightweight, blazingly fast uh, actor model framework. And uh, you, you should say, why, why would you use something like this, right? Well, it's because every of these panels is basically an actor on its own. Why is that? Well, let me actually, uh, let me close this app. Let me explain to you why that is. So um, if you have the markets, right? The markets, they have a couple of exchanges, right? Exchanges uh, like this, exchanges. It could be, for example, uh, Binance, right? Binance exchange. It could be buy bit, right? Buy bit. You could have uh, Qcoin, whatever, how do you write this? Something like this, right? And you can have, there are basically, you can easily come up to 20, 50 exchanges, but each of, the, each of these exchanges, they have what is so-called tickers, symbols, right? You could have, for example, BTC, uh, USDT, you could have ETH, USDT, you could have SOL, uh, you could have, um, what do you have, other coins, uh, BNB, for example, right? All these coins, all these tickers, um, or basically data points, right? So you can see that if you support 50 exchanges and you support 100 takers per exchange, you have a shit ton of data. So what happens is that if you have, for example, your application that is going to hold a state, which you're gonna basically use to render on the screen, you're basically going to end up with state that is basically pulling all these things at once. It's pulling all these things at once and you most of the time you're not gonna have all the data rendered on the screen for all these exchanges right you could have the order book for btc on binance and give me the order book for btc on bybit or maybe you want to do some arbitrage or something i don't know uh, then you have basically two data points you know what i mean one for the order book on btc on the binance and one for the order book on uh bybit for example right so we don't care about all the other um things right on all the other exchanges all the other data points we don't really care so that's why you need to come up with some kind of a system that can easily represent data in an isolated environment and without having to it's pretty complex i'm not gonna lie because you need to call you need to make the order books you need to sample the candles you need to do a lot of stuff and it's just a pain in the ass and that's exactly why actors are the perfect solution for this and that's how I did it, right? So basically, let me show you something. For example, right? So let me run the application, go run this thing. So if you see this, by the way, guys, uh, before we continue, if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Uh, give me a thumbs up, leave some questions in the comments and jump into my Discord community. Peace and love. Thank you very much. 
So, for example, we have these two um, panels here. Right? This is the order book for BTC, and this is the trades for BTC. Two actors pulling data from BTC, pulling two different data points, the order book and the trades. So, the thing is that, let's say, let's say, let me close this. So, let's say we want to add another panel, right? We can say, for example, this order book panel. Let me make another order book panel, and this is going to be order book panel eat. Let me quickly sketch it out. So, we're going to change this to eat. And then we need to render this in some kind of a panel. So what I did is I made, I will make more videos about this. Uh, I have some, some kind of a custom panel system where I can say, for example, um, let me P1 split this again into 0 0.33 ratio. This is fine. This is going to be P4. And then I am going to split P4 again into P5. P4 split. Uh, just like this and I'm gonna split this in half, but I'm gonna split this vertically Right, so now I have two paints to work with and I'm going to use actually p5 We don't need this again. I'm gonna use this thing p4 order books panel 8 and then I'm gonna say app add Which is basically something I made so we can just add something add objects to the application and it will automatically render and destroy them if needed uh, there's going to be the order book panel eat, right? Order book panel eat, just like this. And normally, if I run this application, uh, we should have, you see, we should have this um, eat panel here. So you can see that it's not correctly split. We can actually solve this very simply by just splitting this thing again. And then this should basically have the correct size like that, you see? So now we have this uh, eat order book, we have the Binance uh, order book, and we, and we can do the same thing with the trades. So, and this just spins up uh, a new session actor that will subscribe to the publisher, which is attached for each symbol for each exchange. So it's a very complex architecture, and people are so an interested in this that they ask me, Anthony, can you just uh, sell this, teach me this, uh, whatever? And that brought me into an idea. People are also asking for when is the next course, when are the distributed systems coming out, and I'm going to do something different. I am going to pre-sell or sell the code base, but also the information around it, right? So I'm going to, it's not going to be a course, it's going to be more of informational videos directly to the point. How does it work? Um, different, how do s different system components work here why do they work like they work why do we need it uh, teaching you about that stuff um, so you're going to learn a bit about how to manage uh, an, a gi in just plain relip you're going to learn how to write go and you're going to learn how to how these systems work and you're going to learn a shit ton about the actor model as well right uh, so for who is this for the people that actually want to use a different um, a different approach of seeing the markets right so a lot of people using trading view or something else, but uh, yeah, this is going to be this is going to support heat maps as well, right? Heat maps are very important, so we're going to build that, and also for the people that want to learn how these things work, and for people that do both, right? There are a lot of people that are into the markets making algorithms, um, and you can use this thing to extend by yourself and to build upon that, right? So that's basically it. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. Um, I, I wish I could show you the uh, price action, uh, the candles, uh, well, the, basically the price uh, chart that I made, uh, but I just deleted this for now because it's a little bit wonky that I need to fix. Right, so let me know. Let me know if you're inter interested into buying the pre-sale of this thing. Um, that would be cool. I'm going to give you one year of a promise where that if there are no updates on this thing for one year, uh, you're going to get your money back. It's that simple. Uh, so that gives me uh, the motivation to keep continuing this and you are sure that you're not wasting any money, right? Cool. Uh, thanks for watching. And like I said, uh, let me know in the comments what you think about this. And I am looking forward to see you in my next video. Peace and love.